Hello everyone, so my name is Eva Wittmann. Um, thank you very much for having me here today um, and listening to me. Um, I want to talk today about 360 degree display and um, how we believe that this is increasing um, respondent engagement with um, our service um, and obviously with the product itself. If we talk about the future of um, online research, we very often talk about technology and how technology can, is enabling us to gain deeper consumer insights, um, to get closer to response, or um, how it's enabling us to make our research more enjoyable for respondents. Last year, we talked a lot about voice technology, and this year I want to talk about a different subset of technologies that we summarize as immersive experiences. Immersive experiences, in brief, um, is allowing us to digitally rebuild products or environments um, and um, let those products or environments be tested by respondents without having to move them into real life rebuild. Now, the technology um, has a vast range. Um, it ranges from the full um, immersive virtual reality experience, that is normally the one that we're knowing from Congresses, the one with the big glasses um, and, and the customized software over augmented reality um, that is typically mobile ba um, app based, um, down to uh, technology that is as simple as the 360 degree um, display. Um, about which I want to talk um, today. The advantage really is um, that we are able to expose respondents um, to products in a more realistic way than we did before, at a particularly for the 360-degree di um, display, um, moderate costs. At the same time, we believe that particularly in those times where we are fighting hard against other, against other, um, other uh, offers and other, um, other sources for respondents' um, attention, it's going to help us to make our research more enjoyable um, and therefore keep our respondents engaged in a better way. Why do we need to talk about it again? Well, first of all, with 360 um, online um, display, um, we have now at hand a fairly um, uh, cost efficient um, tool that is scalable. Um, before, when we talked about immersive experiences, a lot of people were thinking about the full virtual experience. Um, that is really time and cost incentive. You need hardware, you need um, specific software. However, the 360 degree display um, is um, quickly put in place um, and comparably cheap. Um, then um, we found that respondents are as well much more exposed to um, 360 degree display. So, so that kind of display is now part of their social media experience, um, about their, um, their advertising experience um, and what they see on e-commerce platforms. When we asked them the ISA panel um, in the US beginning of the year, we found that 58% um, uh, could remember having been exposed um, to that kind of materials. Um, and a stunning 17% have even been already creating some kind of uh, 360 degree materials themselves. Um, and last but not least, what we found or what we see is that marketers and advertisers are climbing um, that um, they see um, really increased engagement rates when they are using that type of display. So they are talking about 300% more click through. They are talking about 46% more completion rates um, for videos. Um, and that kind of um, interaction with, um, with, uh, with their target group or with their consumers is something that we want to actually tap in for our research. Ultimately, um, when, we were, when we were creating this um, survey in that research and research exercise I'm going to talk about now, we wanted to understand three things. We wanted to understand if 360 degree display is actually really increasing the engagement with the product itself. We wanted to understand how it's changing the engagement with our survey. 
Um, and last but not least, we wanted to understand if we use it and if you put it in place, um, how would that affect our data and if we would need to consider any kind of um, data breaks to, um, in, in, in the case we are switching uh, research from a static display to a 360 degree display. We at Ipsos have developed our own tool um, that allows us uh, to rotate products um, in a horizontal manner. As you can see in the background, it allows respondents to manually um, vertically uh, rotate as well as zoom in on a one level um, zoom to evaluate texts in a better way. Um, we're able with this uh, software to um, use externally um, uh, taken pictures or we can um, actually uh, take pictures ourselves. The only permission is um, that we need um, around 30 pictures per angle that are um, uh, similarly um, illuminated. Um, and now we afterwards stitch that together um, digitally to recreate um, the product. Some words on the survey design. So what we've created was a four cell um, survey. Um, we looked at two different types of um, packaging just to understand if you find any kind of differences by the type of packages that we use for evaluating. We had one R&D product that was very much design-based um, and we had a pain relief bottle um, that very similarly to what you just saw before um, did show a lot of um, text. Um, and um, uh, we compared them against um, a static display. Now, um, we had 150 complaints per cell, young targets 18 to 45, because those are the ones um, where we have issues um, engaging with them. Um, and we used a very short survey to evaluate. Uh, we had a demographic section followed by um, the product display, um, the overall evaluation of the product and some diagnostics on the packaging itself. Um, and then we closed down um, on, um, on a, a general evaluation of the survey. All that was run in the US um, beginning of last year. So let me let me start showing you some of the results. Um, as I said, we wanted to look um, through three things. We wanted to look through the engagement with the product. Um, uh, we wanted to look at the engagement with the survey. And then last but not least, we wanted to see if we are um, facing any kind of differences in the data. Now, um, when we talk about the engagement with the product, uh, we mostly looked at um, how much time really somebody spent um, with the product itself to evaluate the product. Um, interestingly, we, th we saw for both product an increased spend. So one time it went up from 13 seconds up to 30 seconds um, and one time from 13 seconds up to 50 seconds. Um, so on both products, respondents spent more time with the product. Um, for the one um, uh, that had more text, so more details to um, be evaluated, um, we even increased to 50. So it was a, a much better increase. So it was much more valuable to show it as a 360 degree display. Um, what we did find as well is that we did not have a lot of people zooming in. 12% um, of the respondents really looked into more details. Um, so passive data points on that, even th so we thought in the beginning that this might be an interesting part. Um, we're not as valuable as we were hoping for, um, but we believe that this might be changing um, in the future. Looking at satisfaction scores, um, so at the engagement um, with our survey. We have generally three different points um, that are evaluated. Um, repeated participation in the future, um, satisfaction with the level of incentivation, um, and um, then the uh, satisfaction with the visual um, experience. Um, we found for the first two, we found an increase. Um, so um, we found an increased level of, uh, of, of agreement um, uh, towards uh, participating in that kind of surveys again, which is great. Um, 
Interestingly, we found an increased satisfaction with the reward. Obviously, there was no difference between the different cells, um, but we saw that people were much happier to spend time with us for the same uh, level of incentive when we used 360 degree display. For the um, visual appeal, interestingly, we did not have that much of, an, um, of a boost, mm, which makes us think that um, we might have already missing, we might be missing already out on the, on the um, big wow effect of that type of display. When we asked respondents about how they felt about the module, um, we had quite encouraging results. 67% of our respondents wanted to see that kind of um, display in the future. If we just looked at those who really experienced um, the 360-degree um, display, um, it even increased further to 89%. When we asked them on um, how they experienced um, the display, um, they agreed the most often towards statements like, helps me understand what the product looks like in uh, real life, gives me a real sense of the product. And they were less likely um, to agree to statements um, that were more fun related or just as an engaging um, survey, as a survey engagement tool. Last but not least, we were looking if we would be producing different um, results with the new display. Well, the first good news is that none of our results were really significant, so they would not have led to any kind of different decision. However, we found a more positive trend when displaying products um, in a 360 degree display that we need to uh, keep in mind and take into consideration when we are switching. Well, first of all, what we saw is that the overall evaluation um, did increase. Um, so in, uh, in the first set, um, it increased from 5.79 up to 6. Um, but as well, the diagnostic um, were the diagnostics were slightly um, more positive towards the 360 degree display. Um, and that differently depending on what kind of diagnostics we looked at. So um, design packaging, design-based um, diagnostics such as looks premium, is sleek, is attractive, um, were ha showing a bigger difference um, between the static display and the 360 degree display, while everything that was more about um, attitudes towards the usage um, remained the same. And that was true not only for um, the uh, design-based packaging, but as well for the um, medical product. The same story, we had as well, again, an, an increased overall um, evaluation. Um, in that case, on a slightly lower level, so from uh, 5.28 up to um, 5.4. Um, and we had the same effect on the diagnostics. So again, it was more um, affecting uh, the premiumness and the design of the packaging. Um, however, um, it would not have, it did not affect as much as the really usability of the packaging or towards um, or um, diagnostic towards um, um, the, the purchasing intent. So concluding on what I just showed you, um, we can say that um, the 360 um, degree display had indeed a positive um, impact on how we are engaging our respondents in surveys. Um, people were happier having, um, having spent time with us. Um, which is obviously important for future participation rates. Um, they were more engaged with the product itself um, and um, did overall um, evaluate that kind of experience in a better way. Um, they used a the new tool much more as a, as a really tool for information rather than just an fun and engagement tool. So they really see there an added value. 
while we need to take into consideration that a it might be shifting our data um, into a slightly more positive um, uh, uh, bracket um, and we need to take into consideration as well that there is going to be a difference on if you are using that kind of tool um, for a more design-based um, packaging um, or a more uh, text-based packaging. Overall, we believe that this kind of new technology is actually um, doing our research good and is helping us to keep respondents engaged um, with our surveys in the future. Thank you very much and I'm looking forward to comments or um, questions or um, maybe even ideas on how to develop that further. Thank you very much.